the Sandfall Interactive team is like a pretty small team. We are about 33 and the game is called uh, Expedition 33, so Expedition 33. Expedition 33 is a French RPG. It's like based on JRPG game. We tweaked a few stuff here and there to have our own film that, for example, during like the turn-based combat, you can uh, parry stuff and uh, respond to enemies' attacks. The biggest challenge uh, in Expedition 33 was to develop a project that was matching our ambition. We had like huge ambition for the game and uh, we are a very small team. So we're needing to be a bit creative from here and there to find solutions. So we thought that Houdini can be useful to populate a lot of levels. For example, tools for cities, tools for scaffoldings, for cloth seams. The combination of Houdini engine and Halloween engine help us a lot during the process of building the city because we can take curves and trace the outline of the buildings and it will generate just like this. In one of the level, we have like waterfalls coming from like the rocks to generate them. We just like pick some rocks and said, okay, we want to collide with uh, those rocks. And then we just place the starting point of the waterfall and that was it. Waterfall was just generating by itself. So we use also simulation in the game. For example, the Velum cloth port. In this level, there's a lot of fabric flying and moving slowly, which is kind of hypnotic. We used uh, Houdini for various aspects, like to create the fine details in the game. And so, for example, there is corals opening based on health system. There's like roots in the game. We just use the shortest path to create them. We have crowds. So for the crowds, we created loads in Houdini. We assemble basic shapes and it generate the final houses. If you play uh, Claire Obscure Expedition 33, one of the things you will notice is that there's a lot of painting. It's one of the subjects of the game. We were needing ways to incorporate the painting in the 3D world. We developed a Houdini tool to be able to place some objects in the world and have strings of paints generating and uh, like linking them. One of the key advantages of using Houdini into this production was to be able to scale the production and for example with the city of Lumiere, uh, but also to explore more creative stuff. I have a message for all the small to medium studios that are not using Houdini yet you need to take a look into it. It's very powerful and you will always find ways to improve your pipelines using Houdini.